Hello my dear children. Welcome back once again. I hope all of you are taking good care of yourself. Today I am going to tell you a very interesting African folk tale that is Thunder and Anansi. Anansi is a very popular character in African stories and he is a trickster. Now who is a trickster? A trickster is a person who tricks or cheats people. The word Anansi in African language means a spider. It is so because in many of the stories he could disguise himself as a spider. Now let us listen and enjoy the story Thunder and Anansi. There had been a long and severe famine in the land where Anansi lived. He had been unable to obtain food for his poor family. Famine means extreme scarcity of food. One day, gazing out to sea, he saw a tiny island with a tall palm tree on it. He determined to reach the tree and pluck nuts from it, but he did not know how to get there. When Anansi reached the beach, he saw an old broken boat. It did not look very strong, but Anansi decided to try it. However, on his seventh attempt, he was successful. He rode the old boat to the island and reached the palm tree. Anansi tied the boat to the trunk of the tree and climbed towards the nuts. He plucked all the nuts and dropped into the boat, but unfortunately all the nuts fell into the water. Anansi could not bear the thought of going home empty-handed, so he jumped into the water too. To his surprise, he landed safely on the seabed in front of a cottage. The seabed is the floor of the sea or an ocean. An old man named Thunder emerged out of the cottage. When Anansi told him his sad story, Thunder was most sympathetic. He went into the cottage and brought a cooking pot. He presented it to Anansi and told him that the pot would always supply enough food for him and his family. Anansi was most grateful. He thanked Thunder and left for home. Anansi only waited till he was in the old boat again and said, Pot, pot, what you used to do for your master, do now for me. Immediately, tasty food appeared in the pot. Anansi enjoyed a hearty meal. When he reached the land again, he wanted to give his family a good meal. But a selfish, greedy fear stopped him. So, he decided to hide the pot. Whenever he felt hungry, he went to his room and enjoyed a good meal. Anansi's family became weak and got thinner and thinner, but he grew plumper by the day. They suspected that Anansi was eating something secretly without giving them. And so they decided to find it out. Anansi's eldest son, Kwekut Sen, had the power of changing himself into any form he chose. So one day he changed himself into a tiny fly and went with his father everywhere. One day Anansi entered his room and closed the door. Kwekut Sen managed to slip inside and he saw Anansi take the pot and have a fine meal. As soon as Anansi went out, Kwekut Sin took out the pot, ordered it to prepare food and called all his hungry family members. They enjoyed a tasty filling meal. When they had finished, Anansi's wife took the pot to the village and gave everybody a tasty filling meal. But alas, in preparing so much food in one time, the pot grew too hot and melted away. She ordered everyone not to mention the pot to Anansi and they agreed. When Anansi returned home, he went into his room 
and searched for the pot, but it was not there. Someone must have discovered it, he thought. He suspected his family and decided to punish them. The next morning, he started off for the shore where the old boat lay. He got into the boat, which took him to the palm tree. He tied the boat to the tree and climbed the tree. This time, when he aimed the nuts at the boat, they fell into it. He got down and threw the nuts into the water and jumped after them. Again, he found himself in front of Thunder's cottage. He told his story to Thunder and he seemed to show the same sympathy. This time, he presented Anansi with a stick and Anansi was very eager to try the magic properties of his new gift so he swam back to his boat very fast. Stick, stick, Anansi said, do for me what you used to do for your master. As soon as Anansi said that, the stick began to beat him so severely that he had to jump into the water and swim ashore, leaving the boat and the stick to drift away. He returned home complaining about his bruises and wishing he had acted more wisely from the beginning. So children, I hope you enjoyed the story of Thunder and Anansi. Now let us listen to your friend Ellen Shijo, who is going to tell you the moral of the story. Hello friends, we all heard the story Thunder and Anansi. The moral of the story is sharing makes us all happy. We learned that if Anansi had shared his meal with his family and other villagers, this would not have happened. The real happiness doesn't come from getting everything you want. It comes from sharing what you have with the people who matters. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. So children, do not be greedy. Be kind and helpful to all. Thank you. See you in the next class.